Hi everyone. Um, I had a request to do a video about how to get your eyes to look bigger. And so I thought I would do a weird type of video where I do one of my eyes to look bigger and one of them with like the what not to do. So I'm not going to look super gorgeous after this, but um, I'm working from home today because of the snow. And so I thought um, this is a good day to do something kind of crazy like that. So um, I just got some makeup on my hands, so I'm just cleaning them off. I'm gonna start with my serum by Shiseido. Sorry, I have to do something on my computer. Okay. Hmm. My lips are a little chapped. So, let's see what kind of product I have. Just to kind of moisturize. Um, not a whole heck of a lot in my little bag here. We'll have to do that later. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit of primer. It's so cold and dry in my house, I feel like I'm getting dry skin around my lips. Okay, so one of the um, ways to get your eyes to look bigger is to use concealing and highlighting and contouring and things like that. Go ahead and make a big triangle on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and just go over this eye. And this one, I'm just going to put some dots. of how much better that is. I'm just going to put some concealer around my mouth because it's bothering me to look at it. Next, um, primer. Put it on both sides. So, 
one of the things that um, will help you have bigger eyes is to keep the darker colors further away from your eye, if that makes sense, and keep, um, keep the lighter colors closer. So, I'm going to be using my Interstellar palette for this because it's, um, it's pretty good for this kind of idea. What is wrong with me today? I keep dropping everything. Alright. So... going to use, sorry I'm not very organized today, I'm going to be using this gray color and I'm going to kind of puff it, in, buff it in here very softly. And then, uh, nope, that's not the one I want. Where is it? On the other eye that I'm going to be doing wrong, <laughs> I'm going to be using the same gray color and putting it right on the lid. So you can already see the difference. It's going to be kind of bizarre. Alright. I'm going to now take um, this brush, which kind of has a little bit of a structure to it, and go into this darker gray. <laughs> and kind of build up shape in my crease and kind of make my crease actually look bigger and I'm kind of giving it a wing and with the other eye I'm gonna just do what I would have what I used to do when I was younger and dumb and use this in the center of my lid and pulling it out towards the end. I mean this one won't look horrible when it's done, but it's not like ideal. Okay, next I'm going to use a little of the black. So I'm gonna take a little brush, little one, little round guy, and I'm just going to tap into the black. <sighs> I'm just going to gently build up the color in that corner. Build up the color. Darkening. Over here. Okay. And now to blend, of course, go back into this brush and use this same light gray I started with. <laughs> and gently buff this out so that I don't have a harsh line. And I'll blend this one a little bit too. Okay. Um, next, where is my. I'm 
missing brushes. I just don't know where they are. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to just use this same brush then. Just cleaned it off. And I'm going to use this um, lighter color here and put it on the lid of this eye. take the other end, go into the same whitish color, and bring that into this area of my eye to brighten that up a little. I'm even going to go into this pink because it's a little iridescent, so I don't know if I catch the light. That's going to make it look more open. And for underneath my eye, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use my new brush because I really like it. Um, and I'm going to use that same matte black. Now, for this eye that I'm going to try and make bigger, I'm not going to really try and connect it that much with this color. I'm going to pull down, sort of. It's going to kind of give my eye a little bit of a deeper. And then for this side, I'm going to go straight across. This is what I would have done in high school. Or if I'm specifically trying to look grungy. Okay. Next. And my white liner. This could be a, this could be difficult. Here it is. It wasn't difficult. Like my makeup's always in transit, so I'm always like trying to clean it and organize it, but it's always in bags. So on the bigger eye, I'm going to use a white liner. And again, you could use a nude or pinkish liner for that. White is kind of stark on me, but it's okay. I'm even going to take... Um, let's clean off this brush. And I'm going to use that off-white color. underneath to kind of soften that white line. That's not really doing much. I mean it is, but it's hard for you to see. Okay, whereas on the other eye, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Perversion and line my waterline. And I'm going to also line the tight line, or what I call the upper water line. Doing that really shuts off your eye because you're really defining where the edges of it are. And then for this, I'm 
I'm gonna make my wing first. So I can control where it goes. I remember when I did, used to do theater, um, when you were doing your makeup, they, they would say like, don't have your eyeliner meet the top and the bottom eyeliner meet. But like, we didn't really understand what that meant. So, but honestly, now I do because if you have them meet, like on this one, it's going to really define. And that's fine. I mean, this could be a look that you're going for. But if you want to make your eyes look bigger, you might not want to have them meet. And just for some extra added fun, I'm going to pull down like that. Okay, next, um, mascara. Now, this one I'm going to use mascara just as is. top and bottom. And this one I'm going to curl. I don't really know how much of a difference that makes. But apparently it's supposed to open up your eye. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm just going to do the corner. I feel like I didn't do a good job making this eye look small. It looks kind of big. To be fair, this eye is bigger. Um, yeah, so the other thing is brows. To define your brows is, is really good to kind of make your whole eye, like framing it, will make it look bigger. Doing the other one. Uh, let's see. I need a little bit of face. My face is a bit blotchy. Just finish up this look. Just using my bare minerals. I didn't put the powder on first because I knew there was going to be some fallout. like an eyelash in this eye. That's annoying. Got it. Okay, then I'm gonna just take my blush.
So you can see the difference with that. I put the blush on this side along, and for here I just put it in the front. And then with the highlight, it kind of gives your face some dimension. Using the contour color. Kind of like a C, a C, a C. So you can see that like this side of my face looks a lot flatter. Okay. And just to do lips, I have found this new system that I really like, Bare Essentials in Essential Cognac. And I do this on the edges, slightly overline. This is not a liner, it's a lip crayon, but it goes on very nicely and it's thin so I can use it sort of as a liner. And then I take this um, Tristique in Nantucket Nude. And then you leave it like that and walk around. No. Then you, um, I use the Nude to blend. sort of gives your lips a nice contour. And then just for some shine, I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown color. Just put it right in the middle. Okay, so I don't know what you think. You can let me know. This is supposed to be the bigger eye. Um, I don't know. I can try and cheat. <laughs> um, like I said, this eye is actually naturally bigger on me. But this one looks a lot more open and happy. Um, this one looks kind of sad, which could be what you're going for. This is not bad. It's just that um, I prefer this. I would like to look, look like my eyes are opened up and happy especially if I'm going to work or going somewhere. Um, also, the nice thing about this is because it's so nicely blended and um, it's, yeah, it's just going to stay better than this one. This one will definitely smudge throughout the day and that's not a happy thing. So I hope that you found this interesting and informative. Um, definitely send me some more requests if you uh, have some different ideas. Um, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.